Hello everybody, and welcome back to the shop. Yeah, my buddy got his F-16 over here, but guess what? He forgot some parts, so he had to run home. So, I'm going to get started taking this out. i got to take this ECU out in here and take the turbine out. They come out really easy. Uh, look at this, people. Got my bench all cleaned off again. I've been busy this morning. Been making videos, cleaning the shop for the fans so they can get some more Bobo vision. Okay, people, let's take this turbine out. The videos we made last weekend, or last time we went flying, had this little turbine in it. I told John, John says, man, that little baby turbine ain't gonna fly this thing. <laughs> I said, don't let that little size fool you. This little thing is bad. And uh, sure enough, man, he liked it. <laughs> Flew pretty good. I knew it would. He was thinking, man, he ain't going to get this off the ground. I said, don't let that little size fool you. This little thing is bad. Okay. Bam. Bam. Bam, ECU. Bam, turbine. Oh, no zip tie there. Bam, turbine out of there. We thought I'm working on something like this. I'll just get a new. Got a new dish I use for the screws. That way everything we took out we know and and we know if we're missing any screws. Okay. Bam, that stuff's out of there. Cord for the batteries, okay. That goes with the jet. Okay, 
keep this stuff from falling out. We're just going to do that. And we just left this board in there, the starting board, so we won't need to do nothing with that. I'm just going to take this duck we made out. And wait for him to get back with his duck. That's what he forgot, that duck work. Left it at home. But when he gets back, and we're mounting everything to that board, we'll make another video. That only took five minutes to get that out of there. <coughs> It'll only take me about an hour to install a new one. Take me longer to make a board than anything. And get everything mounted to the board. Oh, I know what else we need to do. We had to glue some blocks. That little turbine to fit. We had to glue some blocks right here. back on there. Yeah. We'll go right back in place. Move it on there, clamp it, and be ready for that other turbine. One second, let me mix up some meat boxy. actually bought in Germany and it's still under warranty so he's going to send this one to Germany and get it fixed. Come on in. And uh, we're going to do it for now. There's old Mr. Balcom. Welcome, welcome to the shop. Just making a little video and uh, uninstalling the borrowed turbine. Oh yeah, there's the missing part. There is the dreaded missing part that he had, had to run plumb across town for. But that's all right. We're good to go. I got everything out of there. And there's the throttle. That's the extension cord. But when I was chiseling, a little too much wood came out. <laughs> We all determined that it was your fault. So. Under a careful stress analysis. I believe that you had a, a bad glue joint. Because that's the original right there. <laughs> Picture of this box of turbines. Yeah, I was just showing your new shiny turbine. Brand new giant turbine, but that other one should be on the warranty. Yeah, I think it's just, I don't think there's, probably gonna have to put a new motor on it, I might have to pay for that. Oh, a starter motor? Yeah. They might cover that part under the warranty, John. I don't know. Because it was sitting there engaged. Yeah, when it was locked up. Uh -huh. But so really, he's just gonna have to buy another ECU. Uh-huh. And them solenoids, they say you don't.